All right, how do you farm in uh, tower battles? Okay, so first you're gonna go over to uh, farms. You're gonna click on the skin and you're gonna unequip cursed forest. It's a, a horrible skin. Just don't use it. You can't even tell the fucking difference between levels. Just, just don't use it. All right, it, it isn't worth it. Uh, don't ever use the skin, but that is. Just don't don't do it. Don't use it. Okay, so now let's just talk about the math here. Now, I'm not gonna bore you with it, but the basics are level four is the most cost effective, closely followed by level five, and then it's levels three and two, which are exactly tied, and then there's level one. All right, so you always wanna get level four farms, and then you would probably wanna get level threes and twos, because they're the same, and you wanna avoid getting more than one level one farm. Now, there's absolutely no excuse for having more than one level one farm placed at a time. This is because a level two farm is cheaper, so you'll always be able to afford it over a level one farm, and it's more cost effective. Now, for people who are actually good at the game, you'll notice I'm not actually playing this game particularly well. This is because I want to prove that you don't actually need to be good at the game in order to win easily and by a huge margin from just basic farming principles. Now, I won't actually teach you how to farm between waves 1 and 8. This is because of the amount of different strategies and each one is specific to a specific early game tower. So if you want to get the best early game farming strategy, you're going to have to find out the specific farming strategy for your early game tower. And it's usually the same. Think of it as almost book moves in chess. They're always the same and they're all planned out and everything is already known. What you can't really plan out though is what happens after wave 8 because that's when wave 9 comes and they're sending and this is what this video is supposed to teach you. Now the first principle I want you to learn is always always prioritize farming. The only thing that should be prioritized over farming is you dying or the other person dying. For an example, if sending is going to 100% kill the other person, then I would sacrifice farming by not farming and I would send. Or if I'm about to die, then I wouldn't farm and I would defend. But these two scenarios are really the only time you'd be getting defense over farming unless you know you have to prepare for a huge send where that would fall under the fact that you need to prepare for defending. But at no point should you have more defense than is absolutely necessary because that's just wasted money that could have gone to farming. Now the important thing here is you simply don't die. It doesn't really matter what goes on, and in fact, it's pretty healthy to leak HP. You should generally never be at 100 HP, depending on the map, give or take, you could be anywhere between 60 to maybe 20, all right? But that's generally where a healthy amount of HP, I would say. If you have a full 100 HP, you're probably over defending and you're prioritizing defense over farming. However, keep in mind there are very specific waves where you need to prioritize defending over farming. These waves are usually wave 9, 11, 13, 14, and 15. I picked these waves because 9, 11, and 14 are the waves where people like to send boss once. And generally in those situations you would rather defend than farm. However, if they don't send enough or if you think you can farm and then defend the next wave, 100% do that because it will only add to your own economy. Waves 13 and 15, you don't want to farm immediately. You just simply want to wait and make sure you don't have, like, let's just say five or six bosses, a ridiculous amount of bosses and a horrible RNG. As long as you don't have that horrible RNG, you could have the green light to farm. But keep in mind, a lot of these things, even though you shouldn't farm immediately, you probably could farm immediately and defend them a wave later. It's all dependent on your loadout, how comfortable you are with it, and the map, and how comfortable you are with defending the rush. Now, you'll notice it's wave 8. Now, the boss one spawns wave 8, but I will not defend it on wave 8 because there's no reason for me to if I can defend it on wave 9 or an even later wave. This is because I want to prioritize my farming over unnecessary defense, and I'm going to farm. And then, when wave 8 comes, that's when I'll get my defense for the boss one. This strategy of farming should always, always be used on all naturals. The only exception would be if they send, because sometimes they can send a lot and we might need to prepare for the send before it comes. 
depends on how comfortable you are with defending this end and the different loadouts you have. But if it's naturals, you almost always just want to wait a wave later unless your loadout does better if you don't. Now you can see it's wave 9, I see that he's not sending at all, so I have an easy green light to continue farming and growing my economy. Now you can see it's wave 11. This is another wave where it's not as important as wave 9 or 14, but two bosses will spawn wave 11, and depending on the towers, sometimes people may send wave 11, so I'm just not gonna farm, and I'm gonna wait and react to whatever he sends. Now, as you can see, he didn't really send anything, so this gives me the um, okay to continue with my farming. All right, now, as you notice through here, I just continuously get level four farms. However, when the wave ends and I don't have enough money to upgrade the current level three farm to level four, I don't just wait till the next wave. If I know for sure that I can afford to get it by the next wave, I will actually place down a level one or level two farm because any cash I don't spend is just wasted money that I could have spent on any level of farms. So the best strategy when you have leftover cash is just to place a level two, level three, another level three, or a level one farm so you can get at least a little bit more cash. Keep in mind, this only, only works if I know for sure I will be able to afford an orchard the next wave. Now, this is the mid game phase. Between here, you generally don't want to farm at all. This is because it's really, really hard to defend a hidden boss rush or a boss two rush that happens this wave. You're gonna hit in boss rush and boss two rush, and everything's just gonna cost a lot of money. And unless you're experienced and know what you're doing, I would generally just don't farm in between waves 19 and 24 and solely focus on getting defenses and sending. Now keep in mind, I consider mid game around waves 19 to 24. So around there, just generally don't farm. Now a question you may have is, when should I stop farming? And the answer is really, at unit cap. You want to get as many level 4 farms as possible before getting them to level 5. Now, the only exception to this is if you don't have enough time to place down, let's just say, 3 level 4 farms, then you could save a lot of time and upgrade one farm to level 5. Yes, you would be losing out on cash, however, you will be able to get the full amount of your money instead of um, having half of it wasted because you weren't able to spend it. Now, Keep in mind, you only want to stop farming once you reach unit cap, or you know you will place more defense towers to reach unit cap, so it would be pointless to farm more because you would be forced to sell them anyways. But unit cap is really the only thing that should limit farming. And keep in mind, this does also all apply to 2v2s. Now, you will notice, yes, I am farming mid-game. That's only because I'm not really taking my opponent seriously. On top of that, I'm confident in my ability with this loadout. And in general, I just know I'm not going to lose this. If you were playing and you were trying your best, you definitely wouldn't do this. If I was trying my best, I definitely wouldn't do this. This is a huge mistake. Uh, do not do this in an actual game. Now, it appears he has uh, misclicked a boss that is quite unfortunate for him as I have also misclicked several bosses. Now, as you can see, by simply following basic farming principles, I am able to out eco my opponent, and I'm just simply up on money. There's no way for me to mess up, because I just simply have 5 times more cash than he does. And because I have 5 times more cash than he does, I can do 5 times as much as whatever he does. It doesn't matter my skill level, it doesn't matter my loadout, all that matters is I have more farms than him, and I'm able to win solely because of that. Another farming tip I can tell you is that Tower Battles is a really shitty game and it lags a lot. You can abuse this because the farms don't actually give you the money at the same time. This means you can use one farm's money to upgrade another farm and then get the same wave's money from that farm. Keep in mind, it is completely luck dependent and the more farms you have, the easier it is to do. You can also spam click the upgrade button and spam click the keybind and that'll probably increase your chances of getting it.